Hi everyone, it's Sharon again. I am here for the second installation of the tags. Um, this was the first one that we made. Um, so we are going to be using the back frame of the three, the largest one. We're going to be using some the same paints. So we've got avocado, bronze and apple. We're going to be using embossing ink and gold tinsel and we're going to be doing that through the checker plaid stencil. We're also going to be using the Arctic Snow again, glossy gel and I have got some chipboard just cut up so that I can pop it under the um, resin tree so um again we will be using the die cuts from the gear up for christmas and i also will be using some washi pad tapes all right back in a sec so if you did see the first video um i pre-primed all of the um, three parts of the tags uh, with Stamperia's primer. Excellent uh, product. You can use it for splattering, painting, uh, priming. It's just amazing. So now I am going to be using the Allegro Apple um, for the background. And it's just a case of giving it a good coat, depending on how much coverage I get, I will do a second coat. So once that's done, I will be back. OK, so that's done. I've painted the edges. I haven't painted the back because I think I will cover that with some um, gear up for Christmas paper I'll decide towards the end um, so that was using apple what I'm going to do next is while well, that cools down from the heating and dries a little bit more because um, I'm going to be embossing so I don't want it too hot and sticky I'm going to paint the Christmas tree so I'm going to do a coat of the avocado and then I'll let's get my brush clean now because it's a biggish piece I'm just going to cover it all up with the green Um, give your um, resin piece a coat of the primer that will help um, the acrylic paint to adhere to it and you can give it a, just a blast with the heat tool just to dry the primer um, so I'll finish this and be back shortly Okay, so that's done. Um, I gave it two coats. Um, I'm now going to paint the gears in the bronze. I'm going to add gold, super gold, to the stars. And I will paint this little bell red. So I'll be back. Okay, so the tree's all painted. Um, I mix bronze, red and green to make a brown uh, for the tree trunk. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with aquacolor leather. Um, actually, I'm going to paint it. 
because the nozzle is clogged up. So what you'll need to do is give it a reasonable shake to get all the bits at the bottom mixed in. Have a baby wipe ready because we're going to paint it. We're going to dab up some excess and then we're going to dry it. So that's, you want to get it in all the nooks and crannies. So that's where I've gone for more of a mop type brush that gets in there. sure it's all covered yeah that will do and then I'll put this lid on because know me I will spill it now I'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds and then with your baby wipe in a scrunch just going to pick up some of that colour. So you want it just sitting in those nooks and crannies. Make sure you're happy with how it looks. I'm pretty sure I'm happy with that. I'll just give it another couple yep um, might just have some back in there And now what you can do is give that a dry. It doesn't take long. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let that dry even more on its own. And we'll get on to doing the background. So what I'm going to do is I'll get a, a couple of pieces of paper, pop that under. I think we'll just do it slightly. Do we do it? Yeah, I think we'll do centre. And then I'm going to get a blending tool. I'll pop that up a little bit further. blending tool I'm using the Stamperia embossing ink the create happiness by Vicky uh, that is clear so I'm just going to ink it up and then I'm going to blend it through Just keep on blending. If you do miss spots, don't worry. It will just add to the texture and the character of the tag. Okay. All 
All right, so I shall give that a clean in a second. But first, I'm going to sprinkle this beautiful gold tinsel embossing powder all over. Make sure I don't get any on my ink pad. And give it a good tap. How pretty does that look so far? So let me go heat it up and I will be back. Alright, so that's done. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's got that tinsel in it and it's just sparklingly. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do next is I've um, got a tiny blending tool which we have available at Paper Flourish. Um, you can see the difference. They are so cute but very versatile. And I'm going to blend roughly some archival ink around the edges. This just gives it a more of a vintage feel to it. And lightly just go in random areas and you can see the effect it's given okay and that is it so I'll pop these just tidy up a bit and I'll be back okay back again now I am just going to add some white highlights to this tree uh, and I'm going to just use a stiff brush. I find a stiff brush for dry brushing really good. And I'm just going to pick it up and take off the excess and just go over mainly the leaves and just follow the direction of the leaves okay so that will Just give a bit of character and add a little bit of snow effect which we will add to later with the arctic snow. So that's that done. Now it's time to put it together. So this is how I'm going to arrange it. Bring that down a little bit. I'm going to have Happy Christmas there with some holly. I'm going to have Christmas presents underneath. And we may have Teddy sitting there. Okay. So, I will go do some of these down and then come back. Alright, last one to be stuck down is Ted. So, I've popped the chipboard under the back of the tree um, just because the resin 
didn't sit completely level we went up at the outside um, so that just gives it a bit of stability I've used the glossy gel um, which dries like cement and I'm going to use glossy gel to stick Ted down so I'm just going to give him a generous amount make sure that that goes on his hat like that and then we're going to position him on Ooh. get that excess off just sitting there Now, if you do get um, some gel sticking out, I will just get, get a clean brush or a water brush. And you can just clean it up with that. okay but don't stress too much because we can add a little bit of the snow over that so i'll get that out of the way now i did think of using the washi tape a uh, washi pad and I think I will use this holly and that holly. So I'll be back once I've cut it out. Alright, so I've fussy cut them out and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this one just around about there. So it's just a case of getting up there trimming it off so that one can go there that can slide under there so. normally yep yeah, it does come off pretty easy but me being me makes it look ten times harder than it really is so you just gotta get that first bit off tuck it under and then that I think I might put that one there yep and again You can just tuck that bit under there and then this one I'll just hang down on that side Just going to get an embossing tool just to give that a rub down. These are great when you're using the rub ons to sit still and 
get onto the um, project that you're working on. And these there. Okay. Oh. I like that so far. So now for some snow. Okay, Arctic snow. So again, I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix up. And then scoop a bit up. I'm going to do around the edges. And I'll carry on and I'll be back when I've done. Okay, so that's done. Um, I've added the snow all to the edges of the Christmas tree on the holly. Just add it wherever you think snow is going to land. Um, then I've also cut a strip of the holly fabric and then cut that strip in half. I am now going to just tie the string around it again. Pop that like that and then cut that off. All right, so Again, if you don't have gear up for Christmas, you can use any die cuts from any range. Um, Rub-ons will work just as well as the washi tape. Um, so have fun and I will be back another day with part three. Okay, so I decided to paint the back with primer and then the red, uh, which is apple. And I am going to add some washi pad elements to it. So I'm going to use Santa and I think I will use this cog and holly in the one of the corners. So... Be with me and I'll be back. So I'm just going to ink up the edges again with black archival ink. Center. Get rid of that little bit there. And peeling down slowly but surely so I don't rip him. Okay. 
and this one is going to go just right about there. I might just add a bit of snow around the edge there. So there you have it. Um, just added Arctic snow around the edges. I pop some on his hat and his beard and around there. And pop the ribbon back on. And there we have it. hope you make it if you do please pop a photo up on um, or email us um, so that we can see um, but have fun bye